a lot of conversations with folks have about why did I, I write a book with Stephanie on mastering professional scrum? Where did it come from? Uh, it was back in the days when I was a steward of the PSM course. So where that happened is um, Ken wrote the course and then Gunther Verheyen looked after them while he was working for scrum.org. And then when he moved on, who was going to look after all the courses? And that's where scrum.org came up with the steward model for that time. And so I'd, I, Stephanie and I would look after the course and think about the direction it was going and take the feedback from other PSTs. And uh, the proposition after Ralph and Don wrote their book about product ownership, uh, Stephanie and I were invited to write a book. Now, what we're thinking about is we wanted a companion to the course rather than just putting the PSM course in a book. Uh, would have been a great book, I agree. Um, we wanted something to help Scrum Masters at whatever level of your journey. And a, a common criticism of it is it doubles down on values and empiricism too much. My response to that is, how can you double down on empiricism and the Scrum values too much? <laughs> that, that, that's the thing and the whole of the thing, right? And if you lean into that, you'll become an awesome Scrum Master. So what we tried to do is structure it in such a way that it, at the end of each chapter, there were a series of questions or things to ponder about what you can do to lift your game. And the whole idea is you could read it from start to end and you'd learn some stuff, which is nice. It's also there as a, an aid memoir and a coaching manual. So if you're having a particular challenge, what have you, you could jump into them, find a, a perspective or a scenario that can help you think about things differently. And you'll find through the book, it, it doubles down on uh, a lot of the stuff that I've been sharing on these videos, the absolute urgency to get something done and using that to build a fill, feedback loop to learn and grow. And so if we think about this in the terms of the Scrum values, and if we think about this in the terms of empiricism, how are we being transparent? How are we inspecting and adapting? And this is the, the really, really important point that a lot of people miss about Scrum. It's a framework of complex product delivery as well as being built on the houses of, of Lean, it's a continuous improvement process. It's baked into Scrum. This whole thing about how are we going to get better? How will we be more awesome? And that's why it's a, a useful guide for Scrum Masters very much when you're starting out, but also at wherever you are in your journey as a Scrum Master. I, I do hope that there's um, points to think about. So. I invite you to see if you can find a copy. It's probably in, hopefully, in your library. It's definitely on Amazon. You can listen to it on Audible and all reputable booksellers. It's also on Pearson if you want the ebook format. So it's there and it's around. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd like to know has it helped you? And is there something else that you'd like? What else would you like to? to have to support your growth as a Scrum Master.